All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is lesson two of Argo Prep's unit of study for the GRE analytical writing measure. Lesson two is analyze an issue versus analyze an argument. Here's our objective for the day. This is our main goal. By the end of the lesson, you should understand this. If you don't, check back through your notes or watch the presentation again. So today's objective is that by the end of the lecture, you'll understand the difference between the two kinds of essays you'll need to write for the GRE. Remember, in lesson one, we said there's analyze an issue and there's analyze an argument. So today, we're gonna look at some of the specific differences between the two. We'll start with analyze an issue. So according to the Educational Testing Service, the folks who own and curate and administer the GRE, the Analyze an Issue task assesses your ability to think critically about a topic of general interest and clearly express your thoughts about it in writing. Each issue topic makes a claim that can be discussed from various perspectives and applied to many different situations or conditions. Your task is to present a compelling case for your own position on the issue. So, I've highlighted in bold some of the main ideas or the most important concepts from this blurb. So the first one is that we need to be thinking critically. They want us to really look at this issue and think about what we believe or break it down. Next, we need to express our thoughts about it in writing. So this is looking for our opinion. We need to consider the issue, break it down, and then formulate our own opinion, which we can express clearly in writing. Okay, the final thing we bolded here was that you need to present a compelling case for your own position on the issue. So that means you really, really need to be convincing, right? You're not just saying your opinion, you're arguing it in a way that could convince the reader to agree with you. So in other words, I translated this out of testees into uh, normal English. On the Analyze an Issue essay, you have 30 minutes to think about an issue, articulate your opinion, and support your position as well as possible. That's a much clearer, more specific, more simplified version of that same paragraph above. So you have limited time, you have to think about the issue, you have to decide your opinion, and you have to write an essay that supports your opinion really, really effectively. So analyze an issue is all about your opinion, your position, and how you're going to explain it and back it up. Here are a few examples of some of the issues that they'll ask you to think about. Here's one. Government should offer free university education to any student who has been admitted to a university but cannot afford tuition. I bet if you're taking the GRE, you have a perspective on this one, right? Most people who went to college do. This is a great example of one of the kinds of issues that frequently come up. They're going to ask you a lot about how the government should behave. What kind of laws should we have? What kind of services should the government provide for its citizens? That's a main theme that runs throughout a lot of the issue topics. Here's another one. The luxuries and conveniences of contemporary life prevent people from developing into truly strong and independent individuals. So they're talking about tech here, right? Tech and the convenience of daily life and how that's affecting our development as human beings. This is another kind of main theme that runs through a lot of the issues. A lot of them are gonna to talk to you about our society, the way people behave and interact with others and with the objects in our life. So a lot of topics about government and a lot of topics about society. Because remember, these are supposed to all be kind of big idea topics, nothing too specific. They're not gonna be asking you your opinion about the outcome of a certain civil war battle or anything like that. They're just kind of generalized topics that everybody should be able to relate to and have some kind of opinion on. Here's one more. Teachers' salaries should be based on the academic performance of their students. Okay, so a third theme that runs throughout a lot of these is education. A lot of these ask about how our education system should function or how teachers can help students best. So if there's kind of three big idea topics that come up a lot throughout the issue essays, it's how the government should behave, how our society functions, and how our education system could ideally work. Those are three of the main kinds of topics you will see. Let's look next at the analyze and argument section. So just like before, I'll give you the full explanation of what ETS says, and then we'll kind of break that down 
from test language into plain English that all of us can understand. So ETS says that the Analyze an Argument task assesses your ability to understand, analyze, and evaluate arguments according to specific instructions and to convey your evaluation clearly in your writing. Each topic consists of a brief passage in which the author makes a case for some course of action or interpretation of events by presenting claims backed by reasons and evidence. Your task, here we go, here's what we need to do, is to discuss the logical soundness of the author's case by critically examining the line of reasoning and the use of evidence. So wow, there's a lot of big highfalutin ideas in there, right? But I bolded some of the main ones. So we need to understand, analyze, and evaluate arguments. Evaluate is kind of a sticky word because we're not giving our opinion in analyze an argument. We're supposed to be breaking this down objectively from an outsider's perspective. We need to be able to convey our evaluation clearly, meaning that the reader or scorer should be able to understand your essay really easily without having to perform too many mental gymnastics of their own. Finally, the last bolded idea down here is to discuss the logical soundness of the author's case. So they're going to give you uh, an author's perspective or opinion or argument, and you have to look at it and think, is this person making sense? Is this person supporting themselves well? Is there some kind of gap in logic or thinking here? So let's see how we translated this big paragraph into something a little more straightforward. So, in other words, on the Analyze an Argument essay, you have 30 minutes to break down an argument and determine its strengths and weaknesses. There we go. You have to understand what the argument is and decide if they're achieving what they think they are. If so, what are they doing right? If not, what are they failing to do right? Okay, let's talk a little about what analyze an argument isn't, because this can be a big sticking point for people. Analyze an issue is pretty easy to understand, right? They just want your opinion, your perspective. Analyze an argument's more nuanced, though. They're not asking you whether or not you agree. In fact, if you say whether or not you agree, that can actually lower your score. They're not asking you to provide your own perspective or your point of view at all. They're just asking you to analyze, break down, and evaluate the author's point of view. They don't care what you think here. Sorry, it sounds mean, but it's true. Finally, they're not asking you to assess the value or truthfulness of the argument. You might disagree with these, and that's fine, because they're arguments which by nature are opinions or a certain point of view. But even if you don't agree, or even if you think the person is just totally off base in their opinion, that's not something you should be including in your essay. It sounds mean, but you kind of got to keep your opinion to yourself when you're analyzing an argument. Okay, here we see an example argument. These are the way that the prompts are presented. You see there's a little intro statement that says, the following is a memorandum from the business manager of a television station. Sometimes they'll include a little sentence like this that gives you some context. Then below, in quotation marks, we see the actual argument. So this is what the business manager said, and this is what we're going to have to be thinking about. It says, Over the past year, our late-night news program has devoted increased time to national news and less time to weather and local news. During this time period, most of the complaints received from viewers were concerned with our station's coverage of weather and local news. In addition, local businesses that used to advertise during our late-night news program have just canceled their advertising contracts with us. Therefore, in order to attract more viewers to the program and to avoid losing any further advertising revenues, we should restore the time devoted to weather and local news. Okay, so that last part that I put in bold, that's what sort of the heart of the argument is. That's what this person is saying should be done. Everything before that is context and preamble and some background examples or details. Finally, below, we see the actual writing prompt. So these are the directions, that little paragraph at the bottom. This is what ETS is telling us we actually need to write about. So you're writing a response in which you discuss the specific evidence that's needed to evaluate the argument and explain how the evidence would weaken or strengthen the argument. So you're not saying if you agree. You're saying what evidence someone would need to determine if this argument made sense. So what kind of details would someone need to know to understand if this was a good course of action? 
So that's kind of the format of the arguments. Sometimes you'll get the little preamble that gives you some context. You'll get the text of the argument. And then finally below it, you'll get the prompt. You'll see right here, right away, that these differ a lot from the analyze and issue prompts. And don't worry, in some later lessons, we'll come back and we'll talk about really breaking down both kinds of prompts and understanding them. So don't worry, that's coming up soon. Okay, let's review what we talked about today. We introduced analyze an issue, and we said that those are telling you to articulate your own thoughts and feelings and make your case with support. On the other hand, we have analyze an argument, which is asking you to assess or break down an argument in terms of logic and structure without providing your own thoughts. So even though they're two essays, even though they're both 30 minutes, they're both on the same tests, these two topics are worlds apart, and the worst thing you could do would be treat them the same. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Next time, we'll talk about some general writing strategies. Strategies for planning your response, ways to manage your time, and ways to organize your essay. All right, we'll talk then. Interested in watching our GRE video lectures? Go ahead and go over to our website at www.argoprep.com. Argo Prep has created a comprehensive review of the GRE exam just for you. Now, Argo Prep offers a range of premium resources from video lectures to full length practice tests as well as practice questions. Best of all, all of our questions come equipped with full detailed video explanations and of course we have a live chat support feature. So go ahead and go over to our website and start chatting with us today.